Back now with a local private school raising concerns about a construction plan and the increased traffic that would go with it. The plan to develop a plot of land near Nansman Suffolk Academy. The school sits along an already busy Route 460, and they're worried that if the plan goes forward, more trucks could be driving by the school. 10 on your side investigative reporter Julie Malay is live now in Suffolk. Julie, we hear there is a decision now. Yeah, Stephanie, despite hundreds of people showing up to today's meeting to voice their opposition to this Port 460 project, the Planning Commission approved the motion, which means it now goes to City Council, and there possibly could be that 5 million square foot business park built very close by to that school. My main concern centers around the safety and well-being of our students and our families, as well as all of our faculty and staff. We have um, well over 900 people that come to this campus every day. Debbie Russell asked Suffolk's Planning Commission today to wait before making any decisions about a rezoning request that would allow for the construction of a massive business park in Suffolk to get underway. The number one reason why parents choose an independent school or school like Nanceman Suffolk Academy is for safety. She said the students driving in and out of school each day are young, inexperienced drivers. She said they might have to face an onslaught of tractor trailers and traffic coming to and from school. She's also worried about the environmental concerns and noise the 5 million square foot property could bring to the area and what that would mean for the school's outdoor learning spaces and athletic fields. Never have these spaces been more important to us than in the last couple years during the pandemic. Developers of the project say it will bring 2,600 jobs to Suffolk during construction and 9,000 long-term jobs with regular business operations. But residents we spoke with say they don't want all those extra people on the road. I already know the traffic concerns that exist currently, and that's without the um, I don't even know how many thousands of trips of tractor trailers they're proposing, but 58, there's daily accidents, mm -hmm. there's fatalities, there's backups, um, and it's just, it's just going to get worse. When that vote, when the motion was voted on today and it was a yes, there was booze inside City Hall as people wanted to continue to voice their opposition. Now next, that motion will go to City Council for a vote there. Live in Suffolk, I'm Julie Malay, 10 on your side.